Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is a bit of an information video for those people who are interested in visiting Thailand but maybe is unsure about getting here, what to do, where to go and how to do it. Um, I've lived here in Thailand now for eight years, five years of which have been in here in Rayong, two years of which I lived in Pattaya. So I've been there, seen it, done it, sort of got the t-shirt. I don't know everything. You still learn every time you, you go to Pattaya in Thailand. You still learn if you go to Bangkok. It, uh, it's a learning curve living in Thailand. But I think I've made the right choice of where I'm living. Um, as I say, I've lived here for five years. I'm happy here. We have a nice lifestyle here. And for those people who want to share this lifestyle, I can show you how I live, where we go, what we do and our lifestyle. You'll see some pictures of the, the typical things we do. Basically there's a group of us and every month we go either on a little fishing trip or a little couple of days away. We do it as, as a group of friends. So we, we have quite a good social life living over here. Um, on the first picture that you'll just see now is what we did last week. It was a friend's birthday, Nid Noise, who was having a birthday party, so we just went fishing for the day, local fishing just around the corner from where we live. It was 20 baht, 20 baht to go fishing for the day. And any fish that you caught, it was 50 baht per kilo, and you could keep them and or they'd cook it for you, but we didn't ask them to cook it because we had our own barbecue. So we barbecued the fish, and what a fantastic day it was few people had a few beers and some whiskey and and then we carried on on the night time down at the at the beach which wasn't too far away from where we were fishing at the fishing lake and last month we went to Chanterbury we went down by the the river and my friend stayed in the tent and we stayed in the resort a little bit away from there and you'll you'll see the, the pictures on here of the, of the both places where he he camped and he, he took his own tent and that cost him 400 baht per night, including breakfast. We went a little bit more up market. We stayed in one of the wooden huts, as you'll see in the picture, at the resort, from two minutes drive away from where he, he stayed. And that was 1,600 baht per night. But it was lovely, lovely accommodation, lovely pool. And um, I've gone past my age of camping a little bit, so although there were some other uh, tents in the site, and you'll see them again on the, on the pictures, it was beautiful, it was a beautiful area, it was a beautiful place up in the mountains in Chanterbury. And again, again a cheap two nights away, we, we had a few beers and we just parked the car up and, and just enjoyed ourselves for the two days. Beautiful weather as it is always here in Thailand beautiful conditions so if you've got your Thai partner your Thai wife and you want to come to this area give us a give us a call or send us a message on that email address and we'll help you out in this area this area is perfectly located in my mind for the airports it's okay for the islands there's plenty of things to do in this area of Rayon or if you're a single person and you want to come and visit here, again, send me a message. We can arrange everything for you if you want to come and visit here. We can help you out, we can go with you if you want to do Just somebody to, to guide you around, pat you around the areas, the entertainment areas. No problem. I did that with my stepdad. We had a fantastic time. So, the world's your oyster over here in Thailand. Don't listen to all the people about saying that Thailand doesn't welcome you anymore. Yes, there's a few more hoops to jump through, but you can do it. It's a fantastic place to live. Food is dead cheap, alcohol, it's reasonably priced, and accommodation. I live in a beautiful two bedroom detached house in the countryside, five minutes drive away from the beach. That's 12,000 baht a month. The electricity that I pay here is less than a thousand baht a month. So, cheap living, cheap living if you want to do it. I have a far better lifestyle and social life here now than I ever did in England. 
and now as I say we approach in March in England it's still freezing cold. I'm sat outside in the sunshine, it's beautiful. I never want to go back to England. So if you want to discover Thailand, send us a message. I'll help you out in any which way that you want it. And I don't mind telling you any questions that you want to know. Just ask and fire away and I'll help you out. So to the next time, from Les, living the dream in Thailand, bye for now.